Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and today is the day I get to share my big news with you guys. If you've been watching my Thursday talks for a while, you know things have been kind of up and down the last few months and now I get to finally share some good news. So if you want to see what's going on in my life, make sure to stay tuned. All right, so let's get started. Um, today I'm gonna do a get ready with me and totally chat and give you guys the life update. Um, I know I mentioned a few videos ago that I had some pretty exciting new updates. Um, I was waiting for a few things to kind of get finished up and loose ends tied up before I shared them, but here we are, we're gonna talk. So, um, in some of my older life updates, I um, you saw me cry and be really sad and complain and just kind of feel bummed out because my husband and I both lost our jobs this last year um and I have I'm coming up this looks really light compared to my summer tan um all bronze um but I've been coming up really darn close on almost a year of being unemployed um I have done some freelance work in the in the interim so it's been you know not terrible but it hasn't been great like let me tell you what's defeating moving back to your hometown from california where you had you loved it um but moving back to your hometown because things are supposed to be cheaper and job the job markets basically according to my dad when we moved was like an oasis you could come in you could get any job you wanted he'd be making twice as much money um all of this well turns out not the case. It turns out if you have the words California on your resume here, you might as well just not be applying for jobs. It was like the weirdest um, don't trust the outsider syndrome here. Like I said, it's taken me almost a full year to find a job, but that's my news. I finally got a, a job um, and it's a really good one. I'm very, very excited about it. It's with a health technology company. Um, my last job I had was with a computer technology company and um, so it's kind of exciting to stay in the tech field but this one I think is going to be quite a bit different um, because it's servicing um, third parties instead of customers so it's going to be just kind of a whole different type of vibe and it's a new company and they're growing really um, like just exponentially so I'm really excited to start and I start on Monday which means oh and Mike starts his new job on Tuesday which means that Magnus gets to go back to his daycare um, there was a whole video that I will post here about me finding out that we were going to have to pull him out of daycare and it was like a, such a heartbreaking day but he's going to go back and he's going to go back to the same um lady who he loves and who I love so we're just super super happy it's getting to the point where now we are starting to plan for things looking up like before we were really just surviving okay so I'm going to use this eye pencil it's the LA girl shady slim in blackest brown which is too dark but it's what I have um because I don't have to be on a no buy anymore <laughs> because now I'm gonna have income. Let me tell you, like we were surviving before where it would be to the point that it would be like, okay, we're getting our unemployment check. We can buy groceries or we can put gas in the car. And the funny thing is that was kind of what it was like living in San Diego for a little while. Um, so it's not like we haven't been there before, but this time, So we kind of knew we would be able to get through it and we knew things would be get looking up. Um, now there were some really, I'm not saying that there weren't really tough and really just bleak looking days, but like I said, we'd been there before and we knew we would get through it and we could get through it and we did get through it. So now we're on the other side of it, which is pretty damn amazing. So um, one of the things that I'm really excited about besides, you know, getting current on bills and stuff like that is that I don't have to be on a makeup no buy anymore. That means I get to buy new makeup when it comes out and I can test and you guys can get actual reviews of new makeup, not just chitty chats, which of course I love doing. I love talking to you guys. And I will say though, it was very nice to have a summer, just like a family, like a summer with the family. We got to, um, 
I got to get to know my three-year-old a little bit better. Like, you know, you're a parent, you know him, you know what he likes and he wants, but when you're working, he's with, you know, daycare during the day, so you don't see him all day every day. And I feel like he changed so much over the summer. Um, like, he's a toddler, he's a little kid, um, but I got to see him really, like, learn, <clears throat> just learn a lot, learn about his surroundings, learn about his, like, likes and dislikes and how he acts and his habits during the day, and, um, so I got to get to know him, and I'm seeing his little personality come out, and he's just the best kid. I totally just, like, re-fell in love with my son over the summer. Oh, whew. So that's something I will be forever grateful for. All right, my battery died right as I uh, lost composure, so I guess that was pretty good timing. So battery's back charged. I've dabbed up the little sprinkles and now we're ready to go. <sighs> I just like really got struck with the feeling to sit down to film today. It's been, it's been difficult lately. I will say this, um, we learned a lot of lessons this summer about um, Mike and I, as our marriage, I think we're a lot stronger now than the, than we were before. And that's not saying that we didn't have a strong relationship because I think we really did and we really do. It's another thing that happened like with Magnus. I got to know Mike a lot better this summer. Um, and just, we had some time to just be together and it's another thing that I'm going to kind of really be grateful for in this whole situation. Today I'm going to use the ColourPop Chasing Rainbows palette. I have attempted to use this palette so many times um, but never really used it. I don't think. I think I might have used this guy here to do an inner corner once but these are all yeah brand new pans. <laughs> I've had this palette for a while and I keep like picking it up to use it but have never actually done a look with it so today's gonna be that day. I'm gonna start with this yellow kind of sun gold color here called So Meta. <laughs> My face looks so pale. Ah, it's crazy. Um, clearly I've been spending quite a bit of time outdoors this summer um, doing a lot of gardening and we have a little pool set up on our deck. So watching the kiddos splash around and just be super cute toddler boy and um, I went golfing a few times, well one time, family reunion golf, um, golf tournament. So it's been, like I said, it's been a good summer. Uh, we got a new deck which I know I've talked about in previous videos because I talked about the construction. Um, but it's so nice to just have a space that's just ours out in the back that does not, is like high up, not like on the roof, but like, you know, lift it up off the ground so we don't get attacked by mosquitoes when we're out there. Um, we chose to expand the size of it and it's been just like the nicest thing to have um, access to. So I go out there and I read every morning and I'm going to definitely miss that. Once I go back to work, I've been reading Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. She's such a good writer. I really like her. Next, I'm going to use this one here called Manifest It. It's cute. They have such cute little names on here. So I've been trying to do things like not stress out over things that don't really matter and spend time doing the things that do, like spend time with my son and playing with him and, um, you know, hanging out with Mike and just kind of figuring out stuff we like to do together. And that's been a lot of, you know, spending time outside in nature. I love, 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 love being outside when it's sunny and nice and like just being in my garden and watching Magnus like to be in the garden. So, well, yes, it has been challenging and there have been tough times. There's definitely a lot of good that came out of kind of our bummer of a situation. And there are other things that are more important than, you know, vacuuming every day. Um, it's gonna still get done, but you know, maybe when my kid wants me to come outside and play with him, that's a little bit more important. Next, I'm gonna go with this teal shade here called Eclipse. Yeah, because you know what I'm not gonna remember in 30 years? The time that I really scrubbed that macaroni and cheese pot. What I am going to remember is watching my kid <laughs> figure out how the nozzle on the hose works to make water fall into his pool. Um, I mean, he's only going to be three this one summer. He's just learning and exploring so much and becoming such a wonderful little human that I am so proud of. <laughs> Another thing I learned 
on that vein is um, I don't really care about perfection so much anymore. There used to be a time where I cared so much about what like everybody thinks of me. For example, maybe not filming a video with a makeup brush stuck in my three day unwash messy bun. But now I don't really care. I wanted to play with makeup and here we are. Um, I've kind of learned that a little bit more this summer because I while I have a kid, that means that I have to take him out to do kid things, which means interacting with other parents. And you meet some really cool people and you meet some really vicious people. Um, we've gone to the playground near our place a few times and we met some of like the other little kids in the neighborhood and they're just like the sweetest kids. And <laughs> some of the parents are so cute. But then you meet people who are like, Pinterest moms, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but they're the people who their entire life is their children to the point where they literally can't talk to you about anything else. And I know I've talked about my kid a lot in this video. Let's, I'm not going to mince words on that. But it's like the people who think that they know the exact right ways to do it and that you, they're totally judging you and you can feel it. Okay, now I'm going to use blurred lines, this kind of snowy white thing. But basically I had this one mom kind of like wonder why he wasn't, didn't have a better vocabulary or something like that. And she wasn't being like mean about it. She was just, you know, making conversation, I guess. Something about how when her oldest kid was in first grade, he didn't speak that well either. And I was like, well, my kid's three, so he talks like a three-year-old. Um, and she was just like super surprised by it. And I've had that conversation more times than I'd like to count. I've had that conversation with the old people at my grandmother's new home, home, well, assisted living facility, who um, couldn't figure out why I needed to still hold my son's hand when we were walking down the hall. And I said, well, three-year-olds like to dart off. And she said, that's three. That's three, question mark. Um, and I said, yep, this is a three-year-old toddler boy and he likes to run and explore. So yes, old lady that's three. But I've also had some parents who are so super nice and think it's so funny that he's so big and just like such a tender heart um, for being a three-year-old. So he's pretty cool. I'm gonna go under my eyes with this plummy purple shade, keep it cool, and a little bit of this shimmer lucid. This is turning out to be kind of a fun look for my everyday I'm mom and outfit here. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is another thing that went on this summer. Lots of sports bras, stretchy pants, and tank tops. Uh, that goes back to what I was talking about earlier, how about I used to care so much what people thought of me, and I'd always make sure if I was like going out grocery shopping or to Target, I would always put on jeans because I thought that um, Rubenesque women should not be wearing stretch pants in public. Well, F that. Stretch pants are comfy as hell, and um, everyone else was wearing them too. And I'm always on the lookout for new ones, so if anybody's got any good leads on comfortable plus size stretch pants, or why do I keep calling them stretch pants like it's the 80s? Leggings, like leggings, like workout pants, yoga pants, things that I very much enjoy now. Um, let me know because I'm always looking for more. All right, so I'm actually gonna put on an eyeliner today, which I haven't done in forever. So this might be a little dried out. Hopefully it still works. Um, this is the Scandalize Precision Micro Eyeliner from Rimmel London. Okay, let's warm up the face. Okay, so I'm gonna use a smaller brush to do some bronzing today. I'm taking a tip from Raw Beauty Christy. This is, what, this is about the size that she uses for hers. Um, I usually use like a big, fat, fluffy brush, which is, this is a blush brush, it's not this one. Um, we'll, see. we'll see how a smaller one does. Here we go. So, yeah, big news, very exciting. Damn it, this looks pretty good. So, yep, everything's coming up millhouse, if you will. And if you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment below. <laughs> so, that's my big exciting news. And some tales from, and some tales from the summer. Uh, okay, so now I need your guys' help. We are, because we're getting back into the, like, going to work, going to daycare, 
routine that means we get home usually kind of I don't want to say late but not like super early enough that we can really do um, a really big meal but now that we're going to be in this routine I want to start cooking more so my question for you guys is have any of you done those meal delivery services like HelloFresh or Blue Apron um, and do you like them? Because uh, I've been thinking about it for a while. I think like in theory it's really great that you know you have all this stuff. Um, like your meals are planned out for you. The ingredients show up on your door. I think that's such a great idea. But like it seems like a little costly. Um, so I just want to know like if any of you have done it and if you think that it's worth it. Um, and if you get leftovers. Because I love to bring lunch to work. And um and just like, you know, a good leftover situation the next day. All right, and finally, I am going to use the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in the shade Charmer because I think it's pretty and it's shiny and it feels good. Mm. This has a funny taste. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, you guys, that is the finished look for today. I am going to go play outside with my kid. This is the perfect makeup for some backyard pool splashing. And with that, I thank you guys so much for watching and coming back week after week or whatever the crazy upload schedule of the summer has been. Um, I know it hasn't been consistent and I know there hasn't really been a whole lot of new stuff, um, but I do really appreciate it every single time there's a like or you guys comment or every time you get a new subscription or even when I see you guys refer me to somebody else to come and watch. I can say hands down without a doubt having this and coming to talk to you guys has been one of the things that's really gotten me through this past year um, and everything that's gone with that. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being here and listening to me and being supportive and loving me and my antics through all of this. <sighs> so, <laughs> so I hope you guys have a really, really great rest of your day and we'll talk to you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.